to these invites. <clears throat> I'm sitting here and I'm going over some information. And there's several prominent videos circulating. Uh, about water receding about approximately a half mile away on the Gulf Coast. For those who don't know, go and research the tsunami that hit, um, I think it was not the Philippines, it's a bit of um, Singapore, I think, about two, three, about four or five years ago. And <clears throat> the one consistency everybody reported with that was that before the tsunami came, all of the water receded. The um, people that's on the coast supposed to know that when the water started to recede, that's the warning signs to get away from the coast because before the tidal wave, there's always a great recension of water, a great reduction in tide. So we got to watch the tides um, because the uh, ocean right now didn't recede so bad. Um, in Florida and um, parts of, uh, I think it's Louisiana, there is no water for about a half mile out. That is a red flag, 100% you in the danger zone. If you live on the coast or if you know somebody that live on the coast, you better give them a heads up because apparently um, government not, not reporting on that shit. That tidal wave is going to come. That motherfucker going to be huge. Right? The further the water go out, the bigger the returning tidal wave is. So, um, watch them motherfucking receding water lines and um, a hurricane going on. Now, you've seen all of the aquatic life. They've been doing crazy shit. They've been schools of whales and shits beaching themselves. All of the alligators coming out the water in strange places they wasn't at before. Um, all this crazy shit. Now the water then receded um, about a quarter mile or more in the Gulf, which is always, almost always a prelude to a tidal wave or a tsunami if you're in the um, Pacific. So... Um, let your people know that's a bad sign. That if they don't listen to you, they should at least listen to Mother Nature. Peace, God. What's up, guy? What's going on with you? Not much. Just landed out here in Jackson. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Well, uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. First thing yeah. I wanted to say was down home blue. Yes, down sir. home blue. <laughs> All she wanted to hear was it. Down home blue all night long. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. What's on your mind, God? Nothing much, man. You know, I, I done had a little Mother Nature in me, so I, I'm up there right now. But um, I really, I heard you talking about the tidal wave and uh, what's been going on in Florida. So I feel like not only would that be probably a, a a physical effect as far as people homes and you know other things but it's going to be a financial effect uh that takes place so all I it's going to do is activate fema exactly i th think fema is already activated into mississippi they might be because they had a water crisis there that was pretty bad a couple weeks ago exactly and technically it's like a police state right now if you ask me they just haven't 
let it be known yet, but it, shit, we've been in the, we've been in the police state for four hundred years. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. But yeah, man, I just I just feel like people need to be aware financially too to what's taking place, not just in Florida, but in all parts of the of the country and the world. Well, you bring up financially. I was in the process of researching this bank holiday um, where the bank's supposed to be closed for 20 days. I haven't finished the research, so I don't know what's up with it yet. Yes, sir. But the Pope deadline was yesterday. So Ooh. come Monday, it's going to be hell on the stock market. If they report, if they was reporting the real stocks, that should be all red. Yes, sir. So what you what you think about the Fed? The what? The Fed coin. Um, you know, the, the Fed has been taken over by military intelligence. So um, we just got to wait to see what's up with that. Okay. It might be closed and open up something else different. Okay. So I, I got one more question, God, before I let you go. Mm-hmm. So about the tribes. So what do you think is the best way to connect with your tribe nowadays? Try to meet somebody in your family you ain't never talked to before. At least a couple times a week you meet a new one. Yes, sir. The tribe start with your family. It's rooted in the family structure in the communication between family members in order to make the, the clan strong, the families in the clan have to be strong. Yes, sir. No. Okay, I, I appreciate you, guy. I'm, I'm going to let you go. But I, I I thank you, man. And trust me, man, I, you, you will. You know what I'm saying? you. I don't even know how to put it, man. I ain't got no words for it. But just know I'm blessed to be in your presence <laughs> and everybody should be. All right, Bunny. Appreciate <laughs> you. you. All right, my brother. All right. Anybody else? So, um, don't forget, tell your people to research that last tsunami. And before the tsunami, they said the water receded like that. When the water receded, the further out it go before it come back, the more um, juice is waving to come back. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Not much. Where you at? I'm in Arizona. Okay. City, sunshine state like Florida. <laughs> Yes, I actually want to give a shout out to you for all this information you're giving us. My brother actually introduced you to me, Strong Eagle, Chief Strong Eagle. But um, ever since he's been telling me and showing me your videos, I kind of been having like somewhat visions. So like last year, I went to Florida around this time for my best friend's birthday. And we went to Key West. And when I was there driving the bridge, like to go back to the airport, airport I had this vision like, I saw the ocean pretty much taking over the bridge while I was driving on the bridge. And then yesterday I saw on the news, you know, about the whole thing, you know, with the hurricane in Florida, I'm just like, damn, like, did I have a vision a year ahead of time of what I just saw that like it's what's totally happening? Possible. It's totally possible. Hmm. Um, when you was going down there, did you notice the remnant bridges and all of the chart, um, trees that stuck out of the, the the on the sides when you was driving down the road no Did i didn't notice? the bridge was like um on the ocean mm -hmm. so when you come in from the keys and you're going north mm -hmm. when you start getting back to the mainland when you're on the mainland mm -hmm. that stretch there's water on both sides but they got all these burnt charred trees sticking mm. up on. yes i did see that yep and that's what i was talking about those because we had trees all the way you could 
stay in the tree traps from the Keys all the way to Louisiana. You didn't need to come down to the ground unless you wanted to. Mm -hmm. That's what they was burning down the trees. So this is why we got all these great fires, mm -hmm. you know, they're burning shit down. That's what they was using because that's how we was getting away from them in war. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. but the, those are serious visions because um, right now with that tide we seen like that, mm -hmm. it wouldn't surprise me if a tidal wave did take that bridge out. Mm -hmm. And then like a couple weeks ago, I had, well, I had two visions in the past month, so a couple weeks ago I was sleeping and I like, I instantly woke up. Like I heard like the purge siren and like I was explaining to my brother, like the vision I saw is like, I woke up and I was looking out my window and I saw people like running and it was literally like the purge that I saw in my dream. And I'm just like, okay. And then like, I was outside two weeks ago, just sunbathing. And when I was looking in the sky, like I saw like this black smoke going like this. And then I saw like four black dots just like falling out the sky. And I'm just like, okay, is that like airplanes falling out of the sky? I just didn't really know or like for sure what that vision was. Somebody just put in the comments, the bridge collapsed in multiple spots this week. Damn. Damn. So we don't know when we don't live down there exactly what's taking place. When you come through there, you get the signals, Florida to finish line. Mm -hmm. You know, so you picking it up. Mm -hmm. You going you in tune. Mm -hmm. And what do you think the other two visions meant? Um, I didn't get nothing related to them. Most of my attention was drawn to the bridge. Mm -hmm. But they, you, they always mean something. Sometimes they only mean something for you. Mm -hmm. And something I just have to figure out myself. Yeah. Okay, okay. You got to know your own lexicon. Because you use your language different than anybody outside of you. Mm -hmm. So you read your patterns. Okay. I think that's something I need to get in tune more and understand more. I'm still trying to like understand all of this like it's still new to me like all this information but my brother's been helping me still trying to understand it and like still try to break it down for me if, like for all the questions that i still have but i do appreciate all the information that you're giving to the people and thank you i appreciate it you're welcome sweetie you have a good day you too i'll talk to you later all right bye Take one more. Uh, where's the best place to be? Follow the animals. Follow the animals. Our med beds, trustworthy. They made out of the crystal technology. Um, I haven't been watching Washington State, so I don't have any um anything to mention on that. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? Greetings. How you doing, Brother Rod? What's so good? What's good? How's everybody? Everybody good. Where you calling awesome. from? Um, the Strait, the city of the Strait, Detroit. Oh, 313 up in the house. Right. But it's Detroit versus everybody in Yacktown don't back down, god damn it. Let's go. Well, yeah, well I'm, I live here. I'm originally from Baltimore, though, so that's a whole nother conversation for another live, right? Oh, yeah. Now, and I know I'd uh, hit you with just like moments ago, didn't even realize you were going live. And I was like, that's interestingly time about um, the Bois Cayman. I'm hope I'm saying it right. Um, do we feel that all of it's almost inferred, but do we feel like everything that's happening is the 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 byproduct of that conjure? And I'm I'm looking for more information from you because I'm piecemealing back a lot through your videos to get more info. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to shorten up a little bit of my research process before I just dive deep into what all that meant. Um, as I mentioned in my message, like day for day, 
hour for hour, according to these calendars we're keeping, um, post Gregorian, of course, everything about this year is exactly the same as 1791. And I feel like the ancestors are like on us, like, hey, y'all, we almost on the same schedule. What are we doing? Are we tying some stuff up? Like, and how does it tie to anything to do with um, the cityscape and the landscape of uh, our capital? Because I feel like, well, well, you know, there's like sigils, how the capitals were designed based on our buddy Benjamin Banneker <laughs> putting some things in place. Is there any correlation to that? Because I, I really feel like that was the, the that was the map. The sigils mm -hmm. on the ground in DC was the map, the star map. Right. They used the star map to know when their time was going to be up because somebody was going to come and tell everybody about the Kanja War. So, go. Well, can you give me a, a, a you know fifty words or less, or you know the the most uh, condensed version? Because I know you've got more videos and maybe point me to any of your past videos so I can dive deep on my own. What is, in fact, the Conjure War? And we, I keep hearing you say recently, close the Conjure. What does that mean? And who's going to... Be okay, the, to do the Open Conjure is the Haitian Revolutionary Conjure. Right. In Haiti, they use Conjure to get assistance to defeat the French in war under Toussaint Louverture and Bookman. Right. Remember that. Okay, now... They never close the conjure so they can't reap the benefit of being victorious in the war because they still have an open war conjure. Can you just clarify that a little bit more for me and forgive my ignorance what this opening and closing it meant because this is all still kind of... Okay, so you call on the spirit world to give aid in the physical world. You have to send them back home. You have to close the deal it's like uh, reading a book. You got to start and to finish, mm -hmm. right? You can't yep. say you finished the book if you ain't read the last chapter. True. Every conjure that's open, major conjure, has to be closed at the close of the age. If it's any oh, of them open, you. part of my mm -hmm. job is identify it and find out who the actors is and to make sure it's closed. So, okay, and I had helps. Now, based on like even my own family history, which, like I mentioned to you, is a little bit confusing. I feel like every time I, I make an effort to find that out, I'm blocked off. I feel like there's a French, some connection again, you know, how they did us with the, the paper genocide and all of that. How many of us and who of us can access that and say, you know, I want to help close it because obviously time is up and I'm. I kind of like to call myself a justice warrior. What can I do to get myself on board and make sure that I'm in the right position, so to speak, to whatever capacity? Well, it depends on your training as a priest or priestess or as a uh, uh, pillar of the community who you can contact to do certain functions. Right now, Tucson, which is divine insight, the government is holding the conjure up because they got him indisposed on some trumped up bullshit. I know what you're talking about. Okay. So now they can't close the Haitian conjure, but we didn't already... The, the, the only way to close the Feathers versus Fez conjure is one of us with the uh, Feathers had to remember who the fuck we was and that it was a conjure war, and then we had to show where is it at in the public domain. So um, if you inbox me, I think I did a whole video on Young Elder on the Conjure War. And okay, uh, so that's what I, I did yeah, two yeah, of them on uh, Black Magic 363, but they on his Patreon because YouTube flagged them. All right. So should I've gone through the Black Magics and went back through it. That's what kind of prompted some more. Because, again, context, there's like a lot more spiritual stuff that's going on, obviously, for me to arrive at this conclusion. So I'm like, all right, where should I jump in and pick up where I need to on my own study? Uh, if you could inbox me the YouTube for Young Elder, because I just got on his page last night and we found, I got through the one you did a couple of days ago regarding the Seminole Wars. 
it's just I want to make sure I'm I'm making the best use of my time for what I have time to research so I can kind of get to the point because then I'll go back to the Black Magic videos and maybe have better context because the Feathers and Fez thing is still a little confusing to me about who was who because all our skin folk ain't been kin folk. That's the, well, that was the trick. That was because they believe because we look alike by phenotype that we move the same way. We got the same um, internal makeup when we don't. We move according to love and they move according to fears. That's why they try to keep everybody in fear monger mode. Because mm -hmm. the fear mongering is what keeps you subjective. If you catch a person while they're scared, they ain't no lion. They a fucking sheep. And they will make a desperate move under desperate measures and it'll be an error. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I have more questions, but I will allow another to uh, enlighten us. And I'm so honored to be on the live with everybody. Hey, y'all doing? What, what up, DMV folk? I see y'all in the comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. They was Thank over you. here in the house. <laughs> Man, what up to everybody? What they say? What up, though, over here? I've been living here so long, and I still don't <laughs> claim Detroit. Y'all don't be mad at me. God bless us all. We got work to do, people. It's all, it's all good. All right. I'll be uh, looking for some info from you. Thanks, Rod. All right. All right now. Now nah, you get me out of here. I don't know how this works. I'm old. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take one more and then I'm gonna go uh do some stuff. Chief beat your ass, Chief beat your ass, Chief beat your ass. He was training the the, the kids on how to defend their stuff. What's up, Chief? Yeah. Thug Hootie. All right. What's going on, God? What's going on with What's you? What's up, Hootie, man? Shit, man. It's good to see you, bro. For sure, for sure. I see in that I, video you seen me teaching the little kids about how to defend themselves from abduction. Hey, man, I had a bump straight, man. I had to quit my job and, and bump straight, man, because Big Mama, man, she she's on my ass. She ain't going to give you no air. Yep. You got you got to do what you said you was gonna do, or she gonna hold you accountable. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I had a question about shadow work and digging into the shadow, and if if I can get any advice or or techniques, I've been writing down all my negative traits in a notebook, and I've been writing the corresponding uh, positive traits in a notebook. I I feel like I still need to do more though. Um, you got to do grounding to so get, get online with what Mother Earth said. You have to clean your filters, liver, intestines, and shit will start to pick up fast. You will be able to see what I'm talking about. I did. Uh, what do you think about coffee enemas? Good for detoxing the liver. They real good for detoxing yeah. the liver. Okay, I started my I started a coffee enema cleanse uh, actually yesterday. That shit is wild as fuck. <laughs> yeah, what you do? Seven days or three? Um, today is my second day, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to push for uh for for I'm trying to fast, but I'm always active and I'm always in the gym and teaching the kids and my body like it kind of it, it wants to crave food. The, the the point in fasting is to go head to head with the craving. Yeah. You gotta you gotta conquer the crave for food. That's the discipline to control emotions. Yeah. Okay. All right. So so cleanse, what is, is there anything else? Maybe like any any meditation, but that mainly is the cleanse, huh? Yeah. The, the ground and the cleanse in the in the book of shadows you're doing is a, is a good starter kit. Okay. And then trust yourself. All right. Then you get the next answer to the next question before it ever arrives. You can automatically know what to do, but you got to trust yourself. That comes with knowing the self. If you don't know the self, you can't trust the self. 
You got to know what your triggers is, how to control your triggers. Anybody can push your buttons is out thinking you. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. All right. You're breaking up. You're breaking up, Chief. Hey, next week, brother. Later, brother. Yeah. All right. Um. So that ought to get you started. And uh, keep stay tuned, man. You're going to see a lot of shit coming soon. All right. Uh, you're breaking up, Chief, but I, I appreciate you. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, Tahuti man. Fuck it, Tahuti man. Fuck yeah. That's how we do it, bro. Thank you, Tahuti. Awesome, bro. All right, peace. That's dope. Okay, let me take one more. Got my man down in Florida. Christina, if you're on the coast with you, move away from the coast. OG. What's going on? How we doing, brother? Doing pretty swell. Is you right. in the water receding down there by you? You by the ocean? Oh, don't worry. We'll be here waiting for you. <laughs> you see how they sparing us? <laughs> but listen, I'm not even going to take too much of your time, but it's something that was you would know the answer to. Can you give me some knowledge or some input or what the story is about this uh, October 9th through 16th um, Feast of Tenacles? Feast of Tabernacles. It's Tab a, uh, yeah, there, that's what it is. It's a Hebrew religious ceremony. Okay. And the reason why I'm asking that is that I guess the last big one that they had, that's when the market crashed. Well, it's about to crash again, so they might not have this one. Mm. So you think you think that might happen before that feast? Look, the Pope deadline was yesterday. Good point. We're looking at like a trillion dollar hole in the global economy. That's mm -hmm. got to cause some kind of effect. Right. Yeah, I'm seeing what's going on in Europe. The yeah. British All you got to do is watch. All you got to do is watch. Yep, I'm watching. But that was something I didn't hear before. And then it, it caught me because, you know, I got to do this like on the auditor of the universe type shit. I got to watch the money and I got to watch the whole life force. I'm still trying to crack this stupid Seskiki trust situation. But, um. What trust? The, the Seskiki. The Seskiki. The Triple Crown King Solomon. Oh, got you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to see what's up with that. But that was one thing that struck me where I was like, what is this? Is this like another ritual? I got the triple crown. I got a post on it explaining it all on Facebook. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. I saw that about a good few months ago. So that was the part that, you know, I'm trying to connect the dots on that end because they're doing something. But shit, they ain't telling nobody to get off, get to high ground off this motherfucker receiving water in the golf. <laughs> This is is alarming to me. I saw I I never seen Tampa like that, and I've been to Tampa plenty of times. That was different. Yeah, so that that was different. So I guess we'll see. But thanks for the clarity on that. I'll let you go on that, and um, I'm watching. Yeah. Um, Until the Haitian priestesses, good luck, because I know it's a mess. I know my people. All they, all I know my people. They're super here, stubborn. They're super yep. stubborn. They're, they're, there's a dirty hatred that's dealing with that Tucson thing too. Because that's why that's why they trying to stop it. That's who trying to stop it. You'd be surprised how many magistrates are Haitian. No, I won't. So, you know, it's a mess. Tell them, you know, my prayers are with them, but I know my people. It's a mess, and we don't, I don't know who it is. I, it's a group, but they're powerful, and they're assholes, yeah. and they don't care. Oh, yeah, we already know. They're going to get their dozen, though. Because yeah, not only, that's not what only I'm waiting they don't have to answer in 3D, them spirit elders is coming to their door, so don't worry about it. 
Better believe it. Yeah. All right, OG. All right, guys. Yeah. So, we've been having hurricanes. We ain't never had the water recede like this and all of the hurricanes that we have on recorded record. Pay attention. There were hurricanes all of, every year we've been having hurricanes, but it's not sucking the water out of the ocean. That's a lot of goddamn water that's missing. It got to come home. Water got to rise to its own level, right? So pay attention to what's going on. And they ain't telling the people that somebody have to be cautious of this receding water line because it normally precedes a tidal wave. Or a tsunami if you're in the Pacific. Yeah, the water will return with a vengeance. They don't got to believe me. Go do your research on the last tsunami they hit over there in, um, I think it wasn't the Philippines. It was like fucking Cambodia or some goddamn where over there. Um, but they had a big-ass tsunami a couple years ago. And y'all go look at what the people said preceded the tsunami. They all said the same thing. There was no water that they could see from land. Then it came back. And boy, did it come back. Red Wolf was one of the old chiefs, Chief Red Wolf. And um, if he got his protection, that's a good sign. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take one more sister and one more brother, and then I'm going to um, come up out of here. Hey, brother. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing better. You in a while. I'm, I'm doing better than when I talked to you last. I, I'm shit. glad you're doing that better. Shit almost, that, yeah, that <laughs> shit like to ate me up, but I had to turn it around on their ass. But uh, anyway, got the land, so that's that's a plus. And uh, I just wanted to hop on here real quick because you know we've been doing the work, brother. We've been doing it every, you know, full moon. And uh, even though I know we have some, you know, different views on the power of the moon and, you know, what it actually represents or whatnot, but we've been using that day for us to come together and do this work. And I just want to just say uh, thank you for everything. Thank you so much. And also for my sisters to please gather up with us because the more power, you know, we more power when we together in this divine circle and uh, everything be so beautiful, so powerful because we come from a personal level and we establishing trust among sisters, which really haven't been that common in these last years or whatnot, you know, us dealing with, you know, with other sisters or whatever. So the relationships is growing, the love is growing, the trust is growing. Uh, sisters is ascending in a way of what you have been you know, uh, giving us in terms of the information of, of economics and we get in it, we, we envision this fire, Brother Rod. And so whatever we come with, we doing the shadow work and whatever it is we need to release, we, what you, we ask all the sisters what you want done. And then we put it on in the fire and we see it manifesting into the ethers into what it, the beauty in which it was supposed to be in the first place and what we feel like spirit really intended it to be. And then we be working on the rest of these snake, these snake ass motherfuckers that's out here too. I don't even want to call them snakes because snakes is a compliment. Shit. Snakes is our is our friend, you know. But um, I don't know. I'm chatty, you know. I could run on and run on, but I just want to let the sisters know this full moon on ten nine, you know, and every full moon. And I want to I want to frequent. I want to come together maybe two or three times out the month because we didn't already we stomp Fauci out. We stomping these motherfuckers out. So, uh, you know, people coming in, their grandparents been killed, my father been killed, you know, and uh, we just straighten it out. We bring a balance back to back to the planet, you know. That's, we, that's we, we big mama, basically. We yeah. in the one. Yeah. Okay. 
so that's why they seeing the weather phenomenon from the work that's being done. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people not understanding, they thinking that this is all of the heart weather controlled and all that. No. Nah. If the weather being controlled mm -hmm. is not heart. Right. It, it's it's some it's some ships up there or something, but it ain't heart. Heart been clo heart been closed down since twenty seventeen. It ain't harp, and, I, and I'm going to say this because me and my 15-year-old daughter, Serena, we was in the car the other day. She went and got some chocolate kisses. She, we ain't had no chocolate in I don't know how long, but she got these chocolate kisses out the store. And so the storm came. It hit so hard on the house. It threw the water in the house so bad that the water was coming through the, the seals. You could see it rising up in the seals, dripping down out the window. And so uh, I said, that's Oya. So when we started going in my book, looking up Oya, and you know the offerings of Oya is chocolate. So she knows, you, you know how things that hit you subconsciously to do what you need to do. And that child put them chocolates and I, I said, go on and unwrap it and go on and throw it out there in the rain because feed her. You know what I'm saying? Because we did not feel, I didn't feel like this was no type of manipulation this time. This was, this was strictly, you know, that, um, what's the opposite of, what, that's Tefnut. Tefnut energy, Oya energy, you know, Big Mama's energy, you know. So, yeah. so um, I ain't gonna be long. I just want to let the sisters know to hit me up if they feel like y'all feel like you know you want to be a part of our Yoni Steam Circle because we we open. Tell them how they find you. They find me at Star Lily Birthing, uh, and they can call me too. My number is up there. They could call me. And uh, I teach them how to, we've been doing yoga on Sundays. I, I kind of been traveling, so I ain't been doing the womb yoga on Sundays, but I've been doing that, you know, through the ministries. And that's my way of giving and not charging sisters. And it's just been beautiful. We just been doing our thing, you know, on Sundays. And we also had a dance class. Mama Najira, she was teaching some Haitian. I forgot it's a, it's a movement, but it's a womb movement. And when you just keep doing that movement, and you on that ball of your heel, <laughs> it's something um, powerful. But we was in there sweating. I, I, I she, she wore us out. I thought I was gonna faint, but it was a good, it was a good workout, you know, because we need that cardio. So we sisters been kind of too, you know, sedentary, you know. There's a message for you. I just pinned it. <laughs> oh, that's uh, thank you so much. That's my baby. That's Latoya. That's Latoya. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I wasn't gonna even going to get on here talking about none of my accomplishments or anything like that, you know, but <laughs> no. <laughs> but, I, but I did. I have some really pure, beautiful, spiritual birth stories. I'm talking about where the ancestors present or what have you. You're going to be getting your package soon. I wasn't even going to mention that. But I mean, I'm just so excited because Mama Flossie always used to say uh, when we was in the Dogon University, all the children and all the way up to 82 years old, the autistic kids, everything, we all be in there. We be doing numbers, meditation, all that. And she be over like the little three years old children, you know, teaching them, you know, keeping them focused or whatever. And she look up and she be like, we in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> so Mama Flossie, your ancestor now, but. I, every time I'm somewhere, I just always feel her. She come up in my shins. You know how spirit just hits you. Yeah. In your legs, make you shiver, you know. But yeah. anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead on and go. Yeah, I do have a book. I just released a book about a beautiful home uh, birth experience uh, with Selassie Ratutu. He is my godchild. His father ascended about two months before my daddy did last year. But he was, I mean, he called all 12 of his children. He had 13. He called all 12. And I tell everybody, I learned from a mid-husband, not a mid-wife, how to catch a baby. So, mm -hmm. so that's something unique, and I'm proud of that. So, yeah. So I, uh, that's what we're going to be teaching in the doula center. So That's right. I'm yeah. you, men, men and women, you know. Sometimes men think that's too great of a phenomenon, but sometimes men be on the scene and they got to go on and catch the baby, usher the baby. Look, look I ain't going to have no more if I, can't, if I can't catch him. I'm saying, you know. So anyway, then I'm going to go on and uh, sit on down because we just getting back from running and stuff. But um, <laughs> thank you for sending me. And thank everybody that send me Rise's link because uh, sometimes I'll be busy, but I'll always be checking the phone and, do more and uh 
And it's so many, it's so many uh, uh, of my family like that I haven't met yet. And I, I'm so, that's why I say we in the right place because my heart is just so full because I'm like family again, my real biological blood family against me. But then I, it's all these other, I'm just like, <laughs> hey, this is what it's supposed to be, I guess. Yeah, everybody, everybody's work is not with the ones they was raised with. True. That's why I say in the book, a prophet is not without honor except in his own house among his own kinsmen. Yes, yes. I say that one more time. A prophet is not without honor except in his own house amongst his own kinsmen. Amongst his own kinsmen, yeah. Yeah, and that's what's being revealed to me, to all of us. Yeah, okay. some tr some translations got brethren there, and some got his own people there. Depending on what translation you get. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll wait till next month or the other next or, or the month after that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and talk to you again. But I enjoy it. Every time I get on here, I'm learning mm -hmm. something new. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Thank you for coming on. Okay. Thank you for having me. Peace now. And peace. Okay. Uh, Chief Blue Boy. This is going to be the last one, y'all. I'm going to take this card in. I'm going to have to end. I got to go do something. Blood makes us a lady, not family. Peace, God. What's going on with you? Where you calling from? Call from Grand Rapids, bro. G rap in the house. Yeah, man. Gun rule is what it do. Yeah, yeah. Been wanting to talk to you for a while now, man. This shit is crazy. Look, that's, crazy, my, old, that's my old stomping grounds too. I used to fuck around in the G rap. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I know, bro. I've been I've been watching you for a while now, man. Hell yeah, man. Um. Damn, man. I just want to say peace, bro, and send my appreciation and love, bro. And send my, I want to send my peace and love to everybody on that coast, man, because, man, shit, shit, wow. This shit, yeah, wow, man. Yeah, so that's the only reason I came on here. I wasn't even planning on doing it live right now. I was going to do it later. And um, I was sitting here stewing over the, tie, the tags being back so far. And I had to say something or else I won't be comfortable with myself if I don't, you know. And people need the opportunity right. to get their people a heads up. But all them old million-dollar homes and the insurance policies might not cover it this time because um, most of the insurance companies is about to go under for fraud. Mm. So the rich motherfuckers might be asked out down there. <laughs> That's what they ask get. They deserve it, though, man. They deserve everything they got coming, though. Real, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I, I had a couple questions I wanted to ask you, man. Uh, I sent you I sent you some videos, bro, a while back, man. I'm the one that was sending you them videos of, like, that activity shit going on in my backyard and shit, man. Do I like, get or the, 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 the fairies and shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah man. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I remember the ones with the fairies and, and yeah, I remember them. I posted some of them too, I think. Yeah, man, you did. Yeah, man. Uh you know, I'll be I I've been going through some shit for a while, man. I don't wanna hold you for too long, but I've been going through some shit where I done been smacked in my shit, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I, I had I had did eight years in, in in the pen and shit too, you feel me? And uh yeah. I've been smacked in my face real quick, you know what I'm saying? By by big mama shit, whatever you want to call it, whatever that you know, I've been smacked in my shit. And I just want to let people know I'm going through shit in real time, man. Like every day of my life is shit in my is, is just shit in my backyard that you wouldn't even imagine, man, on my cameras that I capture every night of my life. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And and shit, I got videos posted on my page. I'm Chief Blue Boy, man. Go go on my page. Y'all can look on my shit and see a whole bunch of shit. But, you know, I wanted to ask you about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind I kind of know what it is because I feel like I done activated some shit. You feel me? Myself. Mm -hmm. You know, just meditating and, and, 
and trying to ascend and doing shit like that, you know? I don't eat meat. I, I've been off meat for like almost two, two, almost two and a half, three years. Look, you know I what could, I'm saying? I could, uh, I could eat meat for about three years, four years. Yeah. But now I, I, I just, now I only eat unsaturated fats. I don't eat no beef or no pork. I eat um, venison, lamb, vi bison, chicken, turkey, fish. Right. right. Yeah, man. But I uh, had to go through that. I still had to go through a vegan period, too, because that was part right. of my growth. Right? So I needed to be able to know that there's a reason people need to be vegan, but everybody not supposed to be vegan. Right, right. I agree. I you know. agree with that. Yeah. Um, I had asked you about this too. Um, I be I be following and I be paying attention and shit to certain teachers. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I read the I'll be I'll be into the holy tablets and shit. And uh, after you answer, I'm I'm gonna tell you like what I what I discovered on the holy tablets, but um. I was my mama handed down a certain trait. So she was born with uh 12 fingers. She mm -hmm. handed it down to me, but I was born with 12 fingers and 11 toes. And but she was also born with four nip four nipples. And then my brother was born with his nipple, but my little brother was born with 12 fingers, and I handed the 12 fingers down to my son, and my little brother handed it down to his son. That's, that's you know I mean? but they but they all but they all was only they all only have twelve fingers. I have twelve fingers and eleven toes. Listen, that's inky bloodline. Damn, when they talk man. about when you read in the Bible, they talk about the giants with six fingers. Them was that's inky people. Them was some, they were some big motherfuckers too. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Because you know, I'll be I'll be I do all type of shit. I like to work out and shit. You feel me? I, and I, I I do spectacular shit. I can do headstand push-ups. I can do push-ups with no legs, like on the ground with no legs. I can do push-ups with no legs. You feel me? Yeah. Do shit like that. Yeah, yeah I'll I be doing strong man shit and shit. Yeah, that's that that's that empty blood. So you see a picture of us, uh, uh, an old Babylonian picture of one of the elders got a lion in the head lock. That's, that's right. empty. Right, and you see, he got the strong arm. He got the he's strong arm in the lion. <laughs> he, he got the, he got the lion in the headlock. Damn right? man! Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, grab that's grab true. the lion, trying to eat him, kill him to death. He be playing with the lion, holding him down and tickling his mm -hmm. belly and shit while he trying to kill him. And it's funny because they strong like that. They retarded strong like that on Earth. Damn, that's deep, man. That's deep. <laughs> see and see, like what? I don't know if I was hearing it right on the uh, holy tablets, but I was listening to Young Elder. You feel me? I be following bro too and shit. But he was talking about um, how them certain them certain traits come from uh, like the Hindus and shit. Right, he trying to map the 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 phenotypes, but he ain't understanding how they relate to the genotype. Okay, um, right. Brother, right. Elder, that's my guy, man. Y'all got to be yeah. me up, man. Nah, yeah, <laughs> I fucks with him. I fucks yeah, with him stuff, man. Guy, man. I have, I be enjoying doing them classes with him. Yeah, he be, uh, he be, he be, uh, damn, he got them one videos on, on that person. I, I follow a dude named that person. And he got them videos on his page and shit. And that nigga be talking about all the other beings on the planet and shit. I'll be into that shit like a motherfucker, bro. I can't stop watching this shit. Look, go on YouTube and find these videos called The Forever Time. Okay. That, them motherfuckers gonna blow your mind. Them motherfuckers. My, my man that did them on point, but he, uh, a couple people called me and asked me if I know what happened to him because he's been in my for about a year or so. Right, right. But his shit hot to death. The the forever time uh, ancient comedic sciences and shit. The first thing you say when it come on, there are no experts' opinions in this video because the topics we will discuss, there are no experts. 
Wow. Man. Yeah. You so, say, you know, you tell him you got to tune the fuck in. Uh, yeah. Young Elder, my guy. That's my dude. Yeah. Get yeah, these I niggas, look. Brian Hayes. Get these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, hey, look, 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 hey, I was watching them a while back, right? I was watching them a while back, and I was just watching them videos on that, the dude, that person page and shit, and, and my girl was like, man, that nigga voice, man, damn, that nigga voice and shit, you know what I'm saying, that nigga got a crazy, his voice annoying as hell, they turn that nigga off and shit, I was like, man, shut the, shut up, That's you know what I'm saying, and then, like, uh, this, and then, on, he's speaking on the frequency, he ain't speaking the language. Right, right. So if you no, ain't tuned I, in to the frequency, you can't fuck with Young Elder. Exactly. I you fuss with him tough. On the frequency. I fuss with him tough. That nigga be cracking me the fuck up, man. That nigga be t he be saying like when that nigga be trying to pronounce extraterrestrial, but he be like extraterrestrial, but he be cracking me the fuck up. I love him, bro. I love him to death, bro. I, hey, I listen, fucks with him. You you probably hear me saying is they hear us with the country drawl and they think we dumb until we outsmart their ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, just we just said a brother Rod Haynes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, he funny as hell. Y'all leave y'all nah, got alone. I like the country drawl. It remind me of being back home at Big Mama House. No. No, for real though. For real all though, the bro. guys down in the Big Mama house used to talk with a country draw. The one fixing the plumbing, the one putting the room out back, the one putting the new roof on, the one that's going out there to milk the cows. They all got that accent. But you better for believe real. they ain't dumb as they sound, goddammit. <laughs> no, take that accent. Not. That accent will rock your ass to sleep and they will be in dance rings around your ass. For real. <laughs> Yeah, really. But shit. you know, I, I vibe with that shit because it, it it make me remember where I'm from. Definitely, definitely, you know and saying? that's it where made, all right. It makes that's me where all my my from. my grandma and my mama and them. That's where they all from. Shit, they from down there, Tennessee and Mississippi and shit. Little Rock, that's where they all come from. Look, when I hear that slang, right, I go back to a specific time. In one of my past lives, when I was in New Orleans at my big mama house, and she was feeding us fried chicken and squares of cornbread off the bowl on the counter. Every time yeah. I hear that draw, it it take me back to that place, and I feel so comfortable. You know, I can communicate better. Hell I think that's yeah. why Malachi had me reach out to Young Elder because he knew that he gonna make me have a certain amount of patience, and he gonna make me have a certain amount of go in and give it to him, you know, as deeply as you can, step by step. Right. Right. So, because uh, I was instructed uh, by the Nuwabians to come to Young Elder. I didn't know who he was, and they kept sending me through the knocks that uh, Pops want you to speak with Young Elder. So when I listened to him and I started listening to him, he was... Hold up. <laughs> He was dropping me so many motherfucking codes. I said, damn. So then I gave him shots out, told people I'm trying to get in touch with him. And that shit worked out. I'm trying to get in touch with Dane Calloway. But the craziest shit in the world happened when me and him tried to link up. When me yeah. and um, Dane tried to link up, we we playing phone tag, calling each other, right? He, If I call him, he can't hear me. If he called me, I can't hear him. Yeah, see... <laughs> Man, that shit crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was just crazy. like, fuck it. I just put that shit out and I did the video because he asked the question, how did they do it? Right. So I did it on, um, on my Facebook. I did uh, message to Dane Calloway. This is how they did it. <laughs> this is what the motherfuckers did. You know, then I broke it down to him. Yeah, I was trying to, I was hoping somebody like uh, Brother Rich reach out to Dane, get us on the show together so we get to talk, you know, openly because they've been trying, they've been blocking us from private communication. Right. That's right. Shout out to Dane Calloway. Shout yeah, out to shout the out. young elder. Shout out yeah, to the yeah. brother guy, Kalai. Shout out to Divine Insight. Um... We ain't forgetting this shit. Ain't gonna, we ain't gonna just accept that shit. You know what Real, I'm saying? Bro. 
They, they, yeah. that shit gonna have to come, that shit gonna have to give. Right? So, uh, all of the brothers doing their job, keep doing y'all shit. That's all we gotta say. Hell yeah, bro. I just wanna say shit, man. I'm on board, nigga. I'm, I'm right here. I'm a regular nigga. And I'm telling you, I'm a regular nigga, everybody. I'm a regular nigga. And shit, I'm in this shit. I'm right here. I'm in this shit, man. I'm in this shit. I'm ready. I, I done quit my job. I'm going through hell with my girl for doing this shit. I ain't had no money when I quit my job. Oh, I can't forget Look. Dolo the pilot, man. The motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker, that's my dude. Take care of God responsibilities and, and, and shit. Do yeah. responsibilities and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look, I got a little baby right here. Say peace reflection. Peace. <laughs> tell her tell peace reflection. Peace reflection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's I, what it's gonna ruin the motherfucking house, yeah, y'all. Yeah. People don't know. You know what I'm Show, saying? Man. That motherfucking oh, yeah. connection right here. Oh. Real, One bro. I love you, bro. I, I I love you, bro, for real, bro. I'm I'm here. I'm right here, bro. For sure. I'm, we in this bitch. We know what's up. It's more, yeah, it's more than just you and G Rap. Know that. Man, because I'll be I'm trying to look for him, man. I can't find him, man. Look, they gonna come out like in the woodworks pretty soon. You're gonna see him out there like, hey nigga, you know, we gonna take off probably gonna flood Martin Luther King Park. See, yeah. Yeah, probably see, and then that picnic over there or something. Yeah, I wanted to tell you, man, ask you about the, the, the chief dude that came up here, man. He is starting a whole bunch of bullshit, man. Who's the about? chief the, the chief the chief of uh, chief from Chicago, P D, came up here to Grand Rapids. Now nah, he the chief of our police oh, yeah. department. Look, look, them motherfuckers no good riding motherfuckers, man. Look, I don't the police, man, them motherfuckers ain't got our interests. Man. You know. Fuck the police. Fuck the it's, police. Man. Fuck the police. And then fuck the police. Hey, listen. Don't nobody want to listen to me, man. They everybody, hey, bro. When I tell you everybody against me right now, right? Everybody against me, shit, cause I'm I'm trying to I'm 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 disconnected from the system. Shit. I'm, yeah, at least you, I'm trying. I'm trying at least. Where's you? Unplug from, once you unplug from the Matrix, you activate the motherfucking agents, the Mr. Right. Smiths. They automatically activate, try to keep you back in the Matrix. Man, this shit deep, Rod, though, man. It's deep. But shit, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm strong, though. I'm a strong individual. I'm going to get through this shit, man. Feel me? We yeah. all going to get through this shit. Yeah. All right, God. Yeah, we uh, keep watching. We be in touch. For sure, bro. Love you, bro. Peace. Peace to my right. people. Peace All to right. the planet. Peace, right. bro. Peace, God. Yeah. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I love it when the babies be on there. Yeah, fuck the police. So I got about a minute. Um, I don't got. I'm gonna. There's two questions in here. You shouldn't be investing right now. It's a bad idea in anything, really. Speaking on past life regression, um, you, you don't know what it's going to take to realize your past lives, but you have to be continuously be in pursuit of the self. When you realize who you are in this incarnation, it starts to unfold your past lives to you. You just got to be perceptive enough to know the difference between a past life re uh, revelation and a imagination or um, a constructed thought. When you can distinguish the past life memory from the constructive imagination, that's when you're on your path to understanding who you were in the past life. All right, so that's it for us right now. Um, I don't know. I might come back on later. I don't know. So um, we're going to see. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>